Hey guys, welcome to TCR. Sid here. Thanks for clicking on the video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Today I'm going to show you how I got this fire started, why I have candles on top of the fire, and how to make your very own fire starters. Christmas, it's almost Thanksgiving, it's almost all those things, and I don't know about you, but that means it's starting to get colder, and once the sun goes down, it gets freezing in this house. Like, sometimes you can see your own breath. <laughs> so, it's always a race to get the fire started, and the house warm, uh, this time of year before the sun goes down, before Mike gets home, I like him to come home to a nice, roaring fire. So today, I'm going to show you how I'm going to make this fire, and once I get this heat it up, it's going to actually help me make some fire starters, which I'll show you in a minute. So stick around to the end of this video so you can learn how to make my special handy dandy fire starters. I've got some good ash there for my birds. We'll love dusting in that. I've got to get some kindling going. I've got a little bit over here, but uh, I like to get some nice dry wood that's easy to make kindling with. So now I'm going to get my kindle, kindling thrown in here. I'm going to stock them up in just a minute. I'm going to take two of my little fire starters and I'm going to nestle them in here with the wood. Let's let that bad boy start raging. So now that my fire is raging hot, you may have noticed I've got some candles up here that are mostly used up. They just have that last little bit of wax at the bottom. The wicks won't light anymore because there's not enough wax left to burn them. So what I do is I put them on top of uh, the fireplace here and let them melt down. If you don't have this kind of you know wood burning stove fireplace, you can definitely put them in like a double boiler on the stove top and melt the wax that way too. Just make sure you don't do it too fast. Definitely do double boil so if they're in glass that they don't like explode and freak out because um, that can happen. Uh, <laughs> There's several different ways to make these fire starters. I like to use uh, egg cartons. And since I do it in the house generally, I do it just like this set up in front of the fireplace. So I rip the top part of the carton off and I place the cups inside of that. This kind of gives me a little drip tray so that I don't drip wax anywhere um, or it doesn't seep through. You can use dryer lint, which I have right here. You can use leftover dry straw or hay, which I have here. And you can also use some sawdust if you have that as well. But I love using the dryer lint uh, personally because everybody has dryer lint if you have a dryer. Uh, and instead of just throwing it away, might as well put it to good use, right? So I go ahead and I fill these cups up. So I get these cups filled up with the dryer lint. And then this one's pretty melted, as you can see, it's swirling around. And I'm gonna go ahead, glass is hot, so I am definitely gonna wanna hold on to it with a pot holder. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour it right in over the lint. So then, once you've got these all filled with your lint and all covered with your melted leftover candle wax, which, by the way, always smells amazing in here when you do this because it's almost like having a bunch of potpourri out. And then I, I end up with this big tray of wax, melted cups with the lint. And then all you do is just tear one off when you need it. And you can light the edge 
and make your fire. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you get the notifications. Now I think it's time for some hot chocolate.